What is up, y'all? It's Tony. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to y'all about three things that you need to cut out of your life right now. Number one is alcohol and drugs. And the reason you need to cut out alcohol and drugs is not necessarily because of the substance themselves. I mean, I won't lie, I used to indulge in both of these. But the main problem with it is what it led to. So I would start the night with some alcohol. I would go out pre-game, pre-game going out. I don't know why we're pre-gaming, you know, going out to go drink. But I mean, that's what we do. And so go to the pre-game, super messed up. Maybe throw up in the bathroom before we go. Head out, go to the clubs. I'm spending just money on bottle service or on drinks, spending 20 bucks on a freaking Jack and Coke and Next thing you know, um, head to a nightcap for a post game, start taking some drugs, start smoking some weed. And man, at this point, I'm probably 100, 200 bucks in at this night. And then, you know, I go to sleep 3 a.m. And, you know, the, world, the whole world is just spinning. My head is, is going crazy. Uh, and then I sleep, knock out, and I don't wake up till, I don't know, one o'clock or 11 a.m. in the morning. And basically my whole next day is shot because I'm hungover, I'm probably tri-faded, uh, cross-faded, and I don't feel good. I might have gotten sick from something that night. Maybe I took uh, too much drugs or drank too much, threw up. And that's just a bad start to your next day. So say I go out on a Thursday night and I got work the next day. I'm gonna be doing terrible at work the next day. I'm gonna be not. I'm gonna be not having fun. Or if it's a Friday night and I go out that Saturday, I'm not doing anything. And this is your time to actually lock down and get things done. So if you can cut out alcohol and drugs, and just this leads into my next point, which is cutting out those toxic friends. So. I mean, if you're doing a lot of alcohol and drugs, a lot of your friends are probably doing the same thing. So cutting out those toxic friends and people that aren't necessarily going anywhere, because you'll notice that your friends that like to party a lot and they don't do anything in their other time, they're not really going anywhere. They just want to go, go drink, go do more drugs. All of this, it's the same thing over and over again. They're not really improving their life. They just want to have fun. And, you know, those people can be fun. I mean, I, I have friends like that too, but at some point you have to grow up and you have to start doing, taking responsibility for your own life. And maybe that means you have to cut off those friends because some of those people, they'll, it'll destroy them just going down that rabbit hole. I, I've never really been somebody that loved drinking or loved drugs or anything, but by hanging around those type of people, I was more likely to do it. It wasn't that I was just, loved alcohol or loved drugs because if I was alone, I never did it. So I, I had to cut off a lot of those people and then I started doing things that I wanted to do. And you start to meet friends that are more like you, people that are maybe ambitious or are accomplishing great things. Those people aren't the ones that are going out and partying all the time. I think it's bad for you. I think alcohol is literally the devil personally. It doesn't make you act right. You basically unconscious when you're on it. You barely remember what you did the day before when you're drinking too much. I think it's terrible for you. Uh, and then number three, I'm trying to remember what number three is. Oh, social media, and ex excessive entertainment. I think we are really plugged in nowadays and we just never log off. We never let our brains refresh because we're constantly taking in input and constantly taking in information. And social media is, is one of those big ones where you just, it's an endless scroll. You'll never get off the endless scroll. You can always take in more information. And our brain kind of is attracted to it because it's so addictive. There's just so many things that they use to, to draw your attention in like likes, um, follows all these things and give you little dopamine hits. And so you just keep scrolling, looking for something that'll satisfy that urge, but you'll never be satisfied because it's an, it's a never ending cycle. And same with media. We and 
for some reason, just how our psyche is, we're more attracted to the negative than the positive. And it can really affect your mood if you're taking in that much negative information. And um, it's, it, I've noticed it with myself is I'll get in a rabbit hole where I just keep looking at negative stuff and it, it just tarnishes my whole mindset um, for the rest of the day. And as I've said in previous videos, your mindset is your reality or, or your, your perspective is your reality. Absolutely true. And you need to be wary what you're taking in. I've said it a thousand times. I won't belabor the point, but that is something that I want y'all to really focus on. Um, again, these are just three basic things that you need to cut out now. There are definitely more things, more bad habits that you'll start to notice as you improve these ones. And do those too. You'll know which ones are good for you. You know which ones are bad for you. Because once you start to cut out the toxic stuff, um, you got to replace it with something. So try and find good things and, and better habits, which I'll talk about some of that in my next video. But anyways, that is today's video. Happy Easter, y'all. I will talk to y'all next week. See ya.